we have been going over talkorigins.org frequently asked questions. We hope that these not only encourage you and equip you, but we hope they do challenge you, uh, Christians as well and non-Christians, as a way to just encourage everybody, but to a- answer questions. And we don't have all the answers, though, do we? No. No, not at all. We don't. And we are looking for the truth, though. And we hope you are as well. So we just want to encourage you, look for the truth wherever that may lead. Um, the, the questions that we've been going over, uh, again, are from talkorigins.org. And the, the one we're going over this, this week from the, that website is, no one has ever directly observed evolution happening. So how do you know it's true? This person answers with this. Evolution has been observed, both directly and indirectly. It is true. That's the end of their answer. What do you think of that answer, Steve? I think that answer is really short and misleading. Okay, so really short, misleading. You might even say it's not true. It's incorrect, yes. Okay, all right. So really short. Why do you say it's too short? We don't really have any idea what he's referring to. Um, if he's referring to small changes in a population over time, I, I, I'm totally good with that. As a creationist, I am okay with saying that things change because things do change. That has been observed. So his answer there is correct, if that's what he means. You know, I don't think that that just is a possibility that small changes happen, but it, it shows uh, that, um, as a creationist, I think that that demonstrates that our Creator is loving, is caring, and He didn't just throw us down here so we can die. He threw us down here so we could adapt and thrive in the, in the environment that He places us in. Okay, so, so what, what you're saying is we see natural selection happening. In, yeah, pretty much in short. That's that's a, the, I mean, quick, that, the quick way to say yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. And so, but th- there's a term macroevolution, which we're going to get into that in a little bit. But, you know, what, you know, you, you said this answer is too short, but then you also said it's not correct. Why? Well, changing from one thing to another, from one kind of organism to another kind of organism, has never been observed. It's not been observed in the fossil record, which I guess is must be what he means by indirectly. It's also not been seen uh, in real life or in the lab or in the wild. We've not seen anything give birth to something that is a completely different type of thing. Okay, I want to be, I want, again, we, we went over this before, and those of you who are commenting right now and you're typing in, please listen to all of this before you comment. Because, okay, with what Steve said, as far as we don't see it happening, Let's be clear, he is not talking about seeing changes within a kind. He's talking about goo to you stuff, okay? The, the microevolution or nat- natural selection, okay, happens. So let's be clear on that. We agree. It is common ground. However, when you move into goo to you type stuff, now you are moving into science fiction, Okay, it, it's not observable, and it never has been, right? Yes. Okay. That is correct. All right. So yeah, like like you say, thing, things don't change from one kind of thing to another. We at least we've not observed that, directly or indirectly. And uh, as an example, and and as we talked about uh, previously, you know, when we we can look at how things work now, and and that's a pretty good idea as to how things worked in the past, probably anyway. Um, every time. A fish reproduces. Do you know what it produces? I think it produces another fish. That's correct. Oh. Every time fish reproduce, they produce fish. And every time amphibians reproduce, they produce amphibians. Are you sure about that? I'm every time. And it's not like it's it's not like it's ninety nine point nine percent of the time. It's every single time. We have never seen uh, a bear give birth to something that has the intelligence of a man. Uh, man men, uh, you know, human beings give birth to human beings. That's just the way it is. The popular one right now is dinosaur to bird evolution, okay? Okay, I, we're not going to get into this, but I, I'm just going to say this real quick. Friends, the reason that doesn't work, birds' lungs are different from reptiles, and birds' bones are different from reptiles. It doesn't work. We don't see it happen. It's not observed. The last word on this would All be right. the, the tactic that's used here is saying one thing and meaning another. The evolutionist is notorious for this. I've been in a number of conversations with them as you have and they like to do this a lot. They'll say something 
and hope that you don't catch that they're actually saying something completely different. Um, that's pretty common. So re really, and again, we want, to, want you to know we are about finding truth. So we're not here to be your adversary for those who are here going, these guys are just, what are they talking about? And for those of you who are like, okay, I'm trying to learn, okay, great. Well, let's ask questions, okay? Let's ask questions together. Let's answer them together. Let's get to the point, okay? Let, let's, let's find the answers because that's really what this is all about. Steve, you got anything else you want to say before we get out of here? Negative.